From the heart of the Philippines, a land rich in tradition and faith, comes a series dedicated to understanding the Bible as never before. Sponsored by the Hesed Adonai Foundation, Inc., an esteemed corporation organized right here in the Philippines, this series seeks to bridge ancient scriptures with contemporary faith tradition. Guiding us in this journey are members of the Hapagdang Salita Biblical Apostolate from the Diocese of Antipolo. It's bringing their unique insight, expertise, and dedication to the series. Father Romel Felizardo, Director of Biblical Apostolate, Diocese of Antipolo. Brother Ed Martinez, Sister Myra Gascon, Sister Teresita Pajardo, Brother Jess Pajardo, Sister Isabel Peggett, Brother Teofilo Peggett, and Sister Liobi Aguila. Magandang araw. I'm Restituto Aradoremos, your host in this enlightening journey. I was graduated from the Divine Word Seminary in Tagaytay. My journey with scriptures has been nurtured and influenced by many. I've had the privilege of walking this path with revered members of the Catholic Biblical Association of the Philippines, notably Sister Helen R. Graham, MM, Sister Anusita M. Vargas, OSA, Sister Bernardita Dianson, FSP, Sister Miriam R. Alejandrino, OSB, Father Randolph Flores, SVD, and Father Alejandro Tubrin, TFF. Their wisdom and teaching cast a lasting imprint on this work. The Bible, in its essence, is a collection of stories. It is also so much more. In the vast tapestry of literature, few works have wielded as much influence as the Bible. This collection of tales, poetry, prophecies, and histories has captured the imagination of generations, offering wisdom, comfort, and challenge. Welcome to our series, Bible is Literature in Conversation. I invite you on a unique journey. Across 39 episodes, we'll delve into the Bible not just as sacred text, but as a literary masterpiece. An epic narrative of humanity, divinity, love, betrayal, hope, and redemption. From the foundation of the world in Genesis, navigating the complex tapestry of the Old Testament, the often overlooked richness of the intertestamental period and the deuterocanonical text, culminating in the vivid vision of the New Testament book of Revelation. But this isn't just about retelling biblical stories. This is about conversation. For Bible study groups, this series will illuminate the Bible you cherish, contextualizing it as a literary work. In understanding its literary roots, you'll gain fresh insights into the traditions that have shaped countless lives. So, whether you're a searcher, a believer, or just a curious about the world's most read book, join us. Rediscover the Bible through the lens of literature. Embark on this enlightening voyage with us. Let literature converse with faith. Much like any epic tale, the Bible employs the pleasure of literary devices, metaphors, similes, allegories, and parables. Consider the beloved Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, a metaphor that conveys trust, guidance, and provision. Character development is another intrinsic element. Think about Esther's evolution from an ordinary Jewish girl to a queen who saved her people. But literature isn't just about content, it's about form. The Bible showcases various genres, historical narratives in kings and chronicles, poetry and psalms, wisdom literature in Proverbs, apocalyptic writings in Daniel and Revelation. Context is crucial. Understanding the Bible requires diving into the socio-political context of ancient civilization. The enslavement in Egypt, exile in Babylon, and the Roman occupation provide crucial backdrops to biblical narratives. Setting plays a vital role too. The vast desert, the flowing Jordan, the tumultuous sea, is, is not just a location, but a character influencing the narrative. The use of symbols and motifs in Bible is unparalleled. Water often symbolizing life and chaos, light representing knowledge and purity, and numbers like 7 or 40, each carrying specific connotations. Then there's the oral tradition. Before these stories were penned down, they were passed down orally, generation to generation, evolving in the retelling, 
capturing the essence of entire community. While we appreciate its literary dimension, the Bible's ethical and moral dilemmas also come to the forefront. The sacrifice of Isaac, the choices of Job, the dilemmas of Paul, they invite readers to wrestle, question, and reflect. Our journey through Bible's literature and conversation will both be analytical and reflective. It's an invitation not just to understand, but to engage, discuss, and ponder. By the end, we hope to foster a richer appreciation of this ancient text, allowing its stories, characters, and lessons to resonate deeper within us, shedding light on both its timelessness and its contemporary relevance. So, are you ready to dive deep, explore, and converse? Maraming salamat for joining us in this enlightening journey through Bible as literature and conversation. If you have been inspired by today's discussion and are eager to delve deeper, click here to explore our next episode. And if you are new to our series, I recommend starting with this video uh, where we lay the foundation of our literary exploration of the Bible. Remember, each episode brings fresh insight, reaching ancient scriptures with contemporary perspective. So please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an episode from the Hesed Adonai Foundation Inc. and Hapag ng Salita Biblical Apostolate. In our next discussion, let's continue letting literature converse with faith. Hanggang sa muli.